Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 23rd of 2019. Well, it is titled places for Osiris Rex to touch asteroid Bennu. So what do we see here? Well, the image at the center is the asteroid known by the name is 101955 Bennu. And it is an asteroid that is now being explored by the Osiris Rex spacecraft. And what we're looking at here are the four possible landing sites that NASA was looking at for places to collect a sample. So it is one thing to study things with robotic spacecraft, but to actually collect samples and to return them to Earth is a big thing because then we can actually study them uh, much more carefully in our own laboratories here on Earth with far more sophisticated equipment that can be taken out into space. So while we've studied things like Mars from the rovers, which has given us a great deal of information, we can certainly learn a lot more or if we had the opportunity to bring those samples back to the Earth. And here we are doing that with one of the asteroids. And this is actually a video clip which will show the rotation of the asteroid and highlight the four different uh, four different landing sites that were selected. And as you play the video, it will show those four as this rotates and zoom in on them a little bit. And the first one is the Osprey uh, towards the central portion. And then there is uh, the Kingfisher and the Nightingale. And finally, the uh, Sandpiper. So there are four different ones that NASA is looking at as possibilities for these to be able to land at and they have selected Nightingale as being one of the best possible sites because it is one of the smoother ones and you'll notice if you look at all four of these that they are all relatively smooth areas where Osiris Rex can touch down collect a sample and then launch back into space. So this is what we're going to do and then hopefully in a couple of years in 2023 that sample will be returned to Earth for further study. Now this is not a very big asteroid only about half a kilometer across but it is again a sample of that material, the kind of things that built up the Earth in the early history of the solar system. So it gives us a chance to look at what the Earth might have been like as it was forming. So little objects like this, only a half of a kilometer across, are things that combine together over time early in the history of the solar system to build up the larger planets that we see today. So in a way, these are some of those remnants of that very early material. And we get a chance to study them and now a chance to bring a sample of them back to the Earth. So we will be looking over the uh, over this year um, in August is when uh, Osiris Rex will be touching down, uh, plan to touch down to collect that surface sample. And then a few years later, we'll bring that back to Earth for much for, for much further study. So that was our picture of the day for December the 23rd of 2019. It was titled Places for Osiris Rex to Touch Asteroid Bennu. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.